Zen and the art of full-time RV living. It's kind of like this idea that, okay, here you have someone going to the mountain and they're going to practice their Zen meditation. They're going to be in a retreat from the world and go deep within and to connect with source, with spirit, however you might think of it. But they're basically stripping away everything that they know, everything that they have, and for that moment of time, whatever length of time the retreat might be, for that length of time that the retreat is, they just experience. They breathe, they experience, and it allows them to release all the world and go within. Now, if you look at full-time RV living, it's kind of similar. I mean, people look at it as a vacation or they'll look at it as, okay, well, now I get to go and experience all these things, but really what they're doing, they're stripping away everything they have known. They've removed themselves from locations and people that they are familiar with, and they've brought their belongings down to a core bit of items that they'll use, and often they'll eliminate even more. It varies, but in general, they're stripping away everything. And the result is they're going within. They're figuring out what's actually here, what life is all about. Meaning, even if they don't admit it, even if they don't say it in that way, that's exactly what they're doing. They're saying, okay, this is it. Let's just go experience, experience life. And in that moment, they're free. Because that's ultimately what everybody is seeking is this bit of freedom, freedom from who they are, freedom from the culture, actually end up being a human being rather than a human doer. We spend all our lives doing. And in these moments, when you take all that away and you just are, each day brings something different. You meet people and for that brief moment, you share a bit of something and then they pack up their stuff and they go they're gone or you're gone, whatever it might be, you're driving down the road and along to other choices, other people. And it makes you see life as it is. Meaning we have all these constructs that basically contain life into habitual situations that make us feel comfortable. And in those moments, we allow ourselves to think that all of the stuff we see in front of us is normal. That what we see and do each day is just the mundane and in that sense it takes away the scariness of life meaning you could die any moment you could die we take all that away and the more secure you are outside of all the stuff that life brings at you the more that you wrap yourself in these habitual situations and the more you make life mundane the easier it is to basically accept that you're going to die because it feels like, well, okay, that's okay. I mean, life just is. I'm working each day, I'm driving here, driving there, and each week is pretty much the same as the last. I think in the end, all those boundaries fall away. And what's normal is no longer normal. And you just have a small bit of belongings and you get to start over in a sense. And you really ask yourself, who are you? I feel like the chance to actually sit back and ask that question, to take a breather and look at life from all these different angles, to look at life from a completely different spot. Let's say to take some time to digest and see what this world is all about. To be able to take the time to stop and look, to breathe and to be is such a huge gift, huge gift. I think by allowing ourselves to do that through whatever means possible, even for short periods of time, I think magic happens. I think there's something that opens up and it makes life more than just a connecting of habituations. It makes life more. And what that more is, is totally up to you. I found so far there's more patience. And in that patience, you see the rush of all the people around you and in that moment you realize that rush to go to the next location to get there faster is a trap and it's a trap that so many people think is good 
When in fact, when you can step back and say, I'm going to get there and I'm okay going a little bit slowly. When you can step back and do that, it opens up so much more. Just even being in the car, talking to the person next to you and relaxing and not worrying about getting to the next location as fast as possible. Like it really, you've allowed some time, you're going to get there. It's all good and you talk and people cut you off or whatever might happen. It really doesn't matter. As long as you get there, you're all good. doesn't matter. And there's a liberation just in that very thought process. When you've eliminated the possibility of road rage within yourself, that's huge. That's a huge liberation. And if we can do that more and more with each other, I think the world can be a better place when we just step back and we remove ourselves from this reacting to things. Because in that breakneck speed, that's all you end up doing. You don't have time in that breakneck speed to react with intention or with choice. You're just reacting. And that's exactly by design. Because when you're in reactionary mode and you're just in reactionary mode, you're easily manipulated. So it's hard to do, but taking a step back and being able to intentionally make a choice on each situation, it takes a lot of breathing, but it's well worth it. And I think I think stepping outside of normal life stuff and getting into the lifestyle, I think it opens up that possibility of less instant reaction and more intentional reaction, intentional creation. I hope you found this, these ideas helpful in some way. And that even if it's just for small pockets of time, you consider just getting out of reactionary mode and think about how to be more intentional. It takes practice, but it's well worth it. Thanks a lot for listening. And I'll see you next time. Well, I, I, I was, I went in a canal over yonder and uh, I saw a mother and a calf, oh, but they were very shy. Yeah. They weren't playful at all, so I'm surprised. They must have been very acclimated. Yeah, different spot, I bet. <laughs>